Donald John Trump was born on June 14, 1946, in Queens, New York City. His father, Fred Trump, was a successful real estate developer, which influenced Donald's career path. Trump attended the New York Military Academy in his teenage years, where he developed his discipline and leadership abilities. Later, he studied economics at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, graduating in 1968. This education would lay the foundation for his ventures into real estate and finance. In the 1970s, Trump joined the family business, the Trump Organization, focusing on middle-income rental housing in Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. With ambitions to expand, he shifted to upscale real estate projects in Manhattan. Trump's first significant project was transforming the rundown Commodore Hotel into the luxury Grand Hyatt New York. By the 1980s, his ventures included the Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue, Atlantic City casinos, and various high-profile real estate properties. Trump expanded his brand into multiple industries, from Trump-branded hotels, golf courses, and skyscrapers to products like Trump-branded vodka and even a Trump University. His reputation grew through these bold investments, which were often financed by substantial loans. Despite a series of bankruptcies in his casino and hotel enterprises in the early 1990s, Trump managed to revive his brand, capitalizing on his public image as a wealthy, larger-than-life figure. Trump's persona reached new heights in 2004 when he began hosting NBC's reality show, The Apprentice. The show featured contestants competing in business challenges, with Trump as the head judge deciding their fate. His catchphrase, you're fired became iconic, cementing his reputation as a tough, no-nonsense businessman. The Apprentice ran for 14 seasons and greatly expanded his brand's reach. Through television, Trump entered American households and ingrained himself in popular culture, which would later become a critical asset for his political career. Trump had considered running for office on several occasions. After years of aligning loosely with both parties, he formally declared his intent to run as a Republican in 2015, a move that was initially met with skepticism by the political establishment. His campaign centered on themes such as anti-globalism, a stronger stance on immigration, and economic nationalism. His slogan, Make America Great Again, resonated with a segment of the American public dissatisfied with the political elite and Washington bureaucracy. In November 2016, Trump won the presidency, defeating former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in a surprising election, outcome that highlighted divides within the United States. He became the 45th president of the United States and took office in January 2017. As president, Trump's first term was marked by a series of significant policy shifts and controversies. His administration enacted tax reform through the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, which lowered corporate and individual tax rates. Trump also prioritized deregulation, removing federal regulations across multiple sectors, claiming it would spur economic growth. On immigration, Trump's policies were strict, including their construction of additional sections of a border wall with Mexico and measures like the Remain in Mexico policy for asylum seekers. His America First doctrine was evident in trade, with tariffs imposed on goods from China and renegotiations of trade agreements, such as the USMCA with Canada and Mexico. Trump's foreign policy took a confrontational tone towards China and Iran while developing closer ties with Israel, including moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. 
His administration also brokered the Abraham Accords, normalizing relations between Israel and several Arab states. Despite these achievements, Trump's presidency faced numerous challenges and controversies, including investigations into alleged Russian interference in the 2016 election, too impeachment trials, and a heavily polarized political environment. The COVID-19 COVID-19 pandemic, which began in late 2019, became a defining issue of his final year in office. His administration's response to the pandemic, including vaccine development and economic relief measures, was widely debated post-presidency and the 2024 comeback campaign. After losing the 2020 election to Joe Biden, Trump remained a potent figure within the Republican Party. He often spoke at rallies and supported candidates aligned with his agenda. His influence led to speculation about a 2024 presidential bid, which he officially launched in November 2022. The 2024 campaign focused on Trump's recurring themes of economic revival, law and order, border security, and a more isolationist foreign policy stance. His re-election message resonated with voters, particularly those in rural and working-class areas, emphasizing his experience and the need for a strong hand to lead the nation. Trump appealed to his core base, securing the Republican nomination. The 47th Presidency and Key Goals Upon his re-election in 2024, Trump set out ambitious goals aimed at reinforcing his prior policies and addressing the challenges of a divided America. His administration's primary objectives include Trump's economic policy centers on supporting American industries, reducing federal taxes further, and fostering small business growth. He aims to continue deregulation to boost job creation and economic productivity, immigration and border security. Trump has pledged stricter immigration policies, including an expanded border wall and additional resources for immigration enforcement. His administration is working to simplify legal immigration pathways while curbing illegal entry. Trump's second term may bring a renewed focus on health policy reform. While specifics are not fully outlined, his stance has historically favored reduced government intervention and increased competition among private insurers. Trump's America First policy aims to minimize U.S. involvement in foreign conflicts. Relations with China are anticipated to be tense as he seeks to protect American jobs and industries from perceived economic threats. Trump also plans to strengthen ties with allied nations that align with his vision of shared defense and economic policies. Given the chance to appoint federal judges, Trump's selections are expected to further shape the judiciary with conservative perspectives, especially on issues such as gun rights, religious freedom, and regulatory authority, technology, and social media. Trump's administration has shown interest in regulating major tech companies, citing concerns over censorship and free speech, especially following his own experiences with platform bans during the 2020 post-election period. Trump's influence on American politics has been transformative. His brash style and disregard for political norms have led to widespread discussions on populism, nationalism, and the role of media in shaping public opinion. As the 47th president, Trump's second term holds the potential to further embed his policies and ideals within the American political landscape. His approach has reshaped the Republican Party, creating a coalition of traditional conservatives, populists, and independents who support his agenda. Critics argue that Trump's style deepens societal divides and threatens democratic norms, while 
Supporters view him as a defender of the average American and a disruptor of entrenched political elites. Donald Trump's journey from businessman to reality television star, and ultimately, to a two-term president, remains one of the most extraordinary political stories in recent history. His re-election reflects both the appeal of his policies to a significant segment of the population and the lasting influence of his brand of politics. As Trump embarks on his 47th presidency, his policies and leadership style continue to shape the nation, and his legacy will be closely watched by supporters and critics alike. Good job, President. The world is saved.